Well, birthday wishes for you. Well, thank you. It was my birthday yesterday, so that means it was also my birthday the day before that, today, and probably for the rest of the week, you know? That's how it works. <laughs> what a way to celebrate. I, you know what? And Yesterday was really cool because I was in my, my um, home state, Michigan. I grew up in Detroit, and we played in Flint yesterday at the machine shop for my birthday show. So I got to wake up, have breakfast with my mom, and play a great show in my home state. So. Good birthday. Awesome. Well, the crowd looked absolutely incredible here at Logger Than Life. How was the show? The show was so much fun. You know, we only had 25 minutes, so we had to, <laughs> to make the, mo you know, the most of that 25 minutes. And um, one thing we like to do at festivals is to have a, uh, a climb of life, and they all come over, and we uh, go to the side of the stage so they can all give us high fives or, you know, pump fists or whatever you want to call it when they crowd surf to us. And it's so much fun. I mean, it, and if you watched, you saw... We had a ton of crowd surfing. You did. It was amazing. <laughs> we, we we love festivals because everybody comes ready to party, ready to hang out, ready to have fun, and it's, it's just a great day. Well, and both of you kind of maintain such a personal level with your fans, which I think is really, really important. Well, it's key. The music industry has changed um, so much over the years, and nowadays you have to to do that. You know, back in the 80s and 90s and before, it, you, you didn't have that personal contact. It was unheard of to be able to go onto, um, you know, social media. Which oh, I forget exist, what we then, did. Or, you know, you have to wait in line for hours and then maybe get a chance to meet someone. So it's a really cool time to be a fan. And, um, you know, the, the fans are the reason why we can still do this. You know, after five years, why we're playing these festivals, why we're getting to go around the world and play these big shows. So we owe it to everyone to, to shake all your hands and to have a conversations with you and we absolutely love it. Absolutely. So what can you talk a little bit about the Uncovered EP? The Uncovered EP is really cool. It came out a couple days ago um, on the 30th and um, we each picked a song from our childhood that inspired us and uh, we made this really cool EP of cover songs. Um, the song that I chose was They're Coming to Take Me Away and that I chose that song because my stepfather used to listen to it in the car all the time when I was a kid and my stepdad is a complete lunatic. And the song's about being taken away to a mental institution. So as a kid, I thought it was really creepy. And uh, it always stuck with me, that little beat and the, and the lyrics and everything. And it was also fun because we could completely ripped it apart. Because really, it is only a beat and some really cool lyrics. So we got to make it into completely our own song. So you guys took a fantastic job of kind of recrafting those yeah. songs and make it a very Butcher Baby song. Yeah, and um, you know the ZZ Top song was really cool. Um, Henry is a huge, we all are, but Henry's a huge fan of uh, ZZ Top, so we wanted to do something. And we thought that Beer Drinkers and Hellraisers would be the perfect anthem for us to do. And it w all the songs went over really, really, really well. And we've, we've been playing them. You know, this is a, a little off day to our headlining tour. We've actually been playing almost the whole EP on our headlining tour, and it's just been a blast. That's awesome. It's got to be refreshing for you guys to be able to kind of throw that in there. It is, and you know, we get bored of playing the same songs show after show after show, but our, our next full-length album doesn't come out until next year, so it was important to us to, you know, to give fans a little appetizer, if you will, before that comes out, and also to give us a break from playing the same old, same old, and, uh, you know, it, was, it ended up being so much fun to do that we might do this between all of our albums. Who knows? Why not? That's a wonderful idea. So how much material is finished for the next album? Um, it's almost all done. We hit the studio as soon as we get back home to uh, finish from this headlining tour to finish it up and it'll be out in uh, I think early summer of 2015. Awesome. Can you tease us a little bit about the direction for that? Um, you know, we after playing so many shows, we all we love Goliath, but I think that um, a little bit of the thrash element that we started with is missing from that album. So we'll probably bring a little bit of that back just a little bit um, more of that and uh, you know besides that we're just letting it kind of take its course I don't think you can really when you go into the studio things change and um, even if you've been playing songs in your little rehearsal studio it always changes in the studio and uh, usually for the better so we'll, you guys will be surprised Absolutely. we can't wait I want to thank you so much for taking a few minutes to speak with me I appreciate thank it. you Enjoy. appreciate it <laughs>